Can, by the way, can we stop the TikTok of the... I know some of you are interested in this, whether it's in life insurance or just for your personal lives. Perhaps we can. Uh, there's already a drug on the market that can do this. Uh, actually, it's not on the market. It's in development. Uh, the good news is that it works in mice and rats, uh, and it lowers blood pressure permanently in four weeks. It restores the elastic of the arteries, and it does the same for the skin all over the body. Uh, but the bad news is it doesn't really work in humans yet. My friends, what an amazing drug that would be if we had it. And we could be closer than you think. We already have the technology to take some cells from the bones in your body and put them into your own heart and to rebuild your own heart function after a heart attack and get up to 85% recovery. Um, uh, just using your own stem cells. And we can do the same uh, in animals after stroke. We can restore brain damaged areas using an animal's own cells. These things are extraordinary. I am a physician in my first training, a doctor of medicine. And, you know, even five years ago, things like this would have seemed total nonsense. But our world is changing so fast. Uh, we're, uh, uh, scientists are already talking about the ability to regrow hairs inside the ear, to restore the hearing of people who are losing it. And every person over the age of 65 has some hearing loss. So this is a massive market. Uh, we will copy animals that don't get old. Did you know that? That some animals don't seem to show any normal signs of aging. They die of infection, they get eaten, they get attacked, but they do not die of getting old. Whereas most of you here, the reasons you see the doctor are for reasons because you're getting old. They're different from the reasons your children see a doctor. And yet we discover that some kinds of whales don't show signs of getting old, some kinds of rockfish. And then there are animals like turtles and parrots, which age very slowly. And it is possible that it's the same gene switch which is working inside these different creatures. And if we could find that gene, which we will probably in the next five years, then we could be on the way to discovering something quite extraordinary about the tick-tock of your body clock. Amazing. Now, we're not going to do it tomorrow. Uh, and you say, some of you are saying, oh, that's a pity. And others are saying, thank God for that. Because you see, when you think about the future, it touches us. And one of the things we start to think about is, what kind of world do we really want? What kind of world would it be if the very wealthy could live till they are 140, and the very poorest are still dying on average at the age of 37? 